I thank you, God, for most this amazing day, for the leaping, greenly spirits of trees and a blue, true dream of sky, and for everything which is natural, which is infinite, which is yes. I, who have died, am alive again today, and this is the sun's birthday. This is the birth day of life and of love and wings and of the gay great happening illegitimately illegitimately earth how should touching tasting hearing seeing breathing any lifted from the no of all nothing human merely being doubt unimaginable you now the ears of my ears awake, and now the eyes of my eyes are opened. That's E.E. E. Cummings. Welcome everyone for coming on this most amazing day. Here we are at the autumn equinox. The sun is turning, the earth is turning, our hearts are turning. There are spirits in the air today. There are spirits with us. And we give gratitude, no matter what your background and beliefs are, that this is a sacred day and this is a sacred time. This is community coming together to honor a man who changed all of our lives and the world as we know it. I'd like to thank Michael for being here today and bringing us together from all of the different parts of his life. We are crisscrossing, we are webs forming across the globe together in this sacred community. And thank you to the ancestors of Michael and the ancestors of all of us the ancestors of this land, the land itself, all the beings and organisms, whether they are winged or have tails or four-legged or antenna or are blind, the tree people, the rock people, the soil people, the air people, the spirit of fire, the sun, all of this most beautiful existence that we are sharing in this moment together. I offer gratitude and gratitude to all of you who came so far away to be here today. And the plan today is to be in our hearts and feel and let the tears come and let the laughs come, let the memories come. Let the, let the hugs come, let the stories come, let us share everything that Michael meant to us. And we have this sacred bubble that we've created, this sacred container, in an incredible coffee house, a kaleidoscope. Imagine the metaphor for that, the kaleidoscope of everything that Michael was and is now in whatever form he is in now. We have coffee, we have kombucha, we have cake, we have song, we have voices, we have your presence, what else do we need? Thank you so much for coming. So, my name is Julianne. If you didn't figure that out yet, I'm uh, the co-coordinator of this event. Kate asked me to um, help. Uh, I've known Michael for 20 years. He changed my life. So I'm going to be um, helping the flow of this evening, this afternoon, together happening. 
So just so you know, um, logistically, we have a, a driver's board with the agenda on it, just in the spirit of new college classroom or meetings. And as you all know, agendas, they change, and they have to be a little flexible, and that's why there's no times on there. But I'm holding sacred time for all of us and hoping that we all um, are um, together and mindful of the time together, keeping it in alignment with our purpose. So we're going to um, start today with um, some family members are going to come up, Kate, and welcome you. And then we have... Um, five or six readings of Michael's writing or writing about Michael that different people are going to speak up here. And then we're going to open it up to you all to share. Um, and I really look forward to that. There are Kleenex boxes strategically placed around the room for that. And then we're going to have a song and a toast to Michael and this amazing, amazing cake that we're going to hear all about it, that's gluten-free, so don't think you can't have it. <laughs> and then it's more time to watch the slideshow on your, on your own social time. So we're going to turn the slideshow off now. And I'm going to welcome up Kate.